a place of music, food, and good conversation. One Letcher County business offers all of that and more. Summit City Lounge continues to attract national acts right here in eastern Kentucky. WYMT's Allison Rogers took the back roads to Whitesburg to check it out. Whitesburg, Kentucky is home to one local business that offers so much character to eastern Kentucky. It offers live music, an art gallery, fresh coffee, and even lunch and dinner. Summit City is what's bringing us to Letcher County for this episode of Backroads. Over eight and a half years ago, I've had a radio show for years at MMT. The owner of the building came to me and he says, you know, I know you interview a lot of artists. He said, what do you think about doing a concert series? And I'm like, absolutely. Within months, bands started rolling in to perform at this small venue. Summit City recently celebrated their eighth year anniversary and has housed over 200 national acts. We've had everybody from Sturgill Simpson to Rival Sons to members of Motley Crue. Before Summit City, folks from the area would have to travel a few hours to see these bands. Now it's right here in Eastern Kentucky and people appreciate it. I've been going to concerts basically all my life. Now I can see bands here in my hometown. I used to have to drive to Johnson City, Knoxville, Louisville. One recent band that came to Summit City was LA Guns. This was their fourth time coming back to play, and the crowd was just as excited as ever. I came here to see the Guns. Oh, yeah, this crowd here too, they've, it's kind of like the same crowd that comes and sees us all the time here. And uh, they're, they're nice and rowdy, and we try to do a good show for them. We know it's small, but we're one of the bands that don't care whether we play a big arena or a small venue. We just want to play. It's small enough that the crowd, you can have 60 people and it's packed out. And it's great, but it's big enough for a good crowd also. One crowd member that I met was Van. And as it turned out, he had some unfinished business that he wanted to take care of. The hat is just a, it's a trophy, yeah. more or less, you know, of some of the people that I've seen. The last time, last year, when the guns were here, I never got the drummer and uh, he promised to sign my hat tonight. All of his wishes came true. His hat finally had the signature that he had been waiting for. Awesome! Awesome! The concerts aren't the only reason to make a stop at Summit City. They offer food, coffee, and art. That's a big hit for just about anybody. Art shows, uh, we have uh, incredible food here. The food's great, the pizza's is amazing. At any given time, You'll have a coal miner, a doctor, a lawyer, a, a teacher, and a rock and roller one day to hang out. So whether or not you want to come for an afternoon lunch or if you want to see if they have a band happening at night, Summit City is sure to be a wonderful time. For now, taking the back roads to Letcher County, I'm Allison Rogers with WYMT Mountain News. And Summit City's eating hours have recently changed. They are Tuesday through Saturday from 4 p.m. until midnight. For more information on the Summit City Lounge, just visit our website, WYMT.com. And don't miss next week's Backroads as Allison gets a little festive at the White Oak Pumpkin Patch in West Liberty.